Hey everybody, this is Matt Minnick from Cinti Jungle. A uh, bit of a slow start to free agency for the Bengals, uh, but they kicked it in gear and made a couple of signings uh, before the day's end. Uh, the first one being DJ Reader from the Houston Texans. Uh, now I'm going to be honest with you, Reader is a guy I'm familiar with, uh, but I hadn't really considered him uh, as a prospect for the Bengals. I was a little bit more focused on on needs, on getting a linebacker, getting a guard, and you know, trying to make the the draft, uh, you know, the the best opportunity to take best player available. Uh, so I didn't really know too much about him. Uh, so I thought it'd be kind of fun uh, to to go into this a little bit blind. Uh, we're gonna watch a little tape. Uh, again, I haven't really looked into him in the past. Uh, or really prep for this in any sort of way. So we're going to watch uh, some of Week 12, the Texans matched up against the Indianapolis Colts. Uh, and we're just going to go uh, go live, You know, see what he looks like against the likes of Quentin Nelson and what exactly we're getting in Reader. Uh, and you'll kind of you'll kind of discover it as I am. So Reader's standing up right here. Uh, he is the nose tackle in the – looks like it's going to be a one technique when he gets down. All right, so he is in a one technique over the center there. All right, let's see what he does. All right, so definitely getting some push on the center there. All right, so like to see that. Getting push, getting into the backfield, and then as the ball declares itself, he's able to disengage, get off there, and get involved. All right, um, so I, I skipped ahead, by the way, uh, to the second quarter. As you know, if, you, if you've if you watched a lot of my stuff, you may have picked up. I like butt shots, all right? Uh, it's, it, the film from behind is the best angle. Uh, kind of lets you know what they're seeing, and, and, you know, it's just a little bit easier to, to teach from, a little bit easier to learn from. Uh, so that's what I prefer. So I skipped to the second quarter to, to get the butt shot. So now we're going to see Reader. I believe that's him. The numbers are a little bit tough to read. Yep. All right. So that is Reader. He's going to be out here in a two technique inside of the left guard. All right. So let's see what we get on this one. All right. Yeah. Another great rep there. All right. And he makes the tackle there too. So this is an awesome play. Getting the outside zone, the wide zone play. He sticks with it. He's not getting reached by that center. Able to get off the block of the guard and come in there and make a tackle. Uh, they end up giving him credit for a one-yard gain on that. But, man, that, that was a great – it looked like a TFL to me. Uh, might have been some sort of forward progress or something. But a uh, really good play there. That's awesome. All right, so we're going to go. Now it's going to be third and four. And I believe he is off the field in this third down situation. It appear he is. And again, this is live. I might be missing stuff. I'm, <laughs> you're going to see it as I'm seeing it. I'm going to try not to take as much time as I normally would with it. Uh, just out of respect to everybody. So, All right. Doesn't look like he's in on that first down play either. All right. So the flaw with this. Either way, he's on in. I don't know to keep <laughs> to, to skip it. <laughs> All right, so we did see a couple of really good plays out of him there uh, in the run game. Obviously, the run defense is a huge area the Bengals need to improve upon. Uh, and we talk a lot about you know how the the pass game is more important in the NFL nowadays, uh, and it is. But remember. We are in the division that you can't win without being Lamar Jackson, all right? So uh, for the Bengals, for the Steelers, for the, you know, for anybody in the AFC North, uh, stopping the run is much more important than anywhere else in the league. So we are back. Uh, I got second and 26 here. Uh, <laughs> it seems like a passing situation to me, but but we're back. We got him in the game here. Uh, again, he's in a 2 eye here on the left guard. So let's see what happens on this play. All right. All right. I mean, you know, he's getting he's getting that uh, that center to move back anyway. Yeah, you know, essentially he's double teamed here, and that's 
frequently what happens with, uh, you know, with when you're in a one or a two technique, you're going to get that double team just by alignment. All right. He's going to have a matchup. Three techniques is going to have one on a matchup. Now, that's why you see a lot of those three techniques are better interior pass rushers than anybody else. They often have a two way go. Like they'll let them take either one of these gaps. So that's actually kind of a prime position to be able to rush the passer from. Uh, and, and in some situa- some pass situations, they'll actually play what's called a tray front, and you'll have two three techniques. So you're able to go uh, uh, have a two way go with both people. It also doesn't tip away quite as much uh, if you are sending a pass rush center or anything like that. Um, but yeah, you know, his odds of getting there aren't great, but you know, he's getting that guy to back up, pushing him in the backfield a little bit. I mean, and really he affects Brissett on this because Brissett can't really step into it. I mean, for a nose tackle, I'll take that. And we're out again. This seemed like a great idea. (laughs) <laughs> that's not a play good job game pass you know I could have gone through and figured out when he was in when he wasn't ahead of time but that would take out the fun of it right then I'd be pre-watching it like everything else thought it'd be cool to do it live all right so now we got a two eye here once again and we're gonna get another wide zone play all right so this time the center is able to get up on him. He's going to stay in that gap because that's his gap. All right. So, you know, he's not truly, he's not reached here. You know, right? really like, you know, it's a reach block, but to have him reached would mean that center is getting his head in that gap and kicking him back. As it, as it stands, uh, the, the backside gap there, which is really the backside A gap, all right, gaps move is where the cutback happens. Uh, and that's really going to be the linebacker that's going to cover that. All right. So because of really where the, you know, that's, that's the first open gap. So the backside backers got to take care of this guy's going to be a fast flow guy to the outside zone. All right. But that guard is able to get off that double. And that's what happens there. Burrito does a pretty good job on this, right? Not quite as good as on that last outside zone. Really love that last outside zone. But again, he's staying wide. He's holding his gap. He's not letting himself get in reach there. All right. Let's take a look at the tight film here. See what we got. Is he in that him? That's the other thing. I don't know the little... The little giveaways for him because I didn't watch this film ahead of time. There we go. That is him. So if I can't see his number, I don't know. You know, there's lots of little, there's little giveaways you can tell with people sometimes. Like this guy's got that towel, you know, or like sometimes it's people's socks, you know, like the way they wear their socks or uh, dreadlocks are great. Um, <laughs> you know, it's a dead giveaway in film. Uh, I don't really see any with him. I haven't figured out anything with him yet. Sometimes the gate, the way they walk. All right. Anyway, we're on a two technique here. Actually, he's kind of head up. So that I mean, uh, that is that is actually a two. That's not even a two eye. Uh, he's head up on here. We're gonna see what he do. He does. Uh, whenever there be some movement here. All right now, I'm just getting into the a gap. Hey, but look at this. He's getting double teamed. They're getting they're not getting movement on him really at all. All right, let's let's see. This is this is on the thirty seven. All right, his feet are at the thirty five right now. Let's see where where's where his feet start. So right now, his heels are at the thirty five yard line. Okay, he's getting double teamed here. <laughs> I mean, and he's winning it, right? He, he pushes them back at, at some point, right? He steps back about a foot. All right, he gets pushed back initially, but then he, he kind of anchors himself and he starts to push the two of them forward. That's pretty awesome. All right, let's see what we got here. All right, we're going to send a little bit different here. All right, really a zone replay. So we get a double team combo block here. Should be going up to the linebacker. Linebacker is able to backdoor it. Why is he able to backdoor it? So DJ Reader here is in the three technique. 
All right, outside of the of the guard. All right, the guard and the tackle are going to look to double team him. They do get a little bit of movement this time, but look what he does. He occupies both those blocks. All right, this is a combo block, right? So so how does how does the zone read work, right? All right, I got a I got a solo block here. I got a double team or a combo block here up to this linebacker. I got a double team block here up to this linebacker. All right. And then, of course, this guy is the read man, right? Tiny releases outside. He's really blocking for the quarterback keep. So, look, the fact that that linebacker isn't blocked, that's, you know, that, that's on the D-line. That's that's good for the D-line. That's good for reader there. He is occupying these guys and not allowing them to make uh, – to, to come off and get up to that linebacker. You know, linebacker is able to uh, to get in there. Now, I was going to say get in there and make the play, but if I keep playing it, yeah, he, he cracks through. All right. <laughs> so the backer backdoored in it and, and, and it backfired on him. Uh, but still, I mean, that's a, that's, a, that's a good look by Reader on that one. All right. We'll get some more action here. He's out in a three technique again there on the right hand side. <laughs> All right. So we got the run and look at the penetration, right? You want to screw up what an offense is doing? Penetrate. Get in the backfield. The D line is all about penetration. So you, we saw him getting double teamed and holding his own, and even pushing back a little bit at times. Look at this. Look at how he's getting in the backfield here. And look at how far that guy has to, you know, really bounce that thing back out. That's awesome. All right. That's a good job. Getting there, penetrating, getting in the backfield. All right. That's the type of stuff that you see out of Geno Atkins a lot. You know, I think Atkins has been criticized a little bit, uh, you know, this season uh, as being kind of a down season. His sack numbers were down, but he was doing stuff like that all the time. He was penetrating. He was getting in the backfield. So um, that is, you know, that's what you want to see out of these guys. That is huge uh, when you have defensive linemen that are getting in the backfield, penetrating uh, at that level. Um, especially, again, we got to stop the run. You know, the, the Steelers are going to run the ball. The Ravens, all right, that's going to be a, a big deal uh, getting those guys, uh, you know, as those guys look to run the ball. So um, awesome job there. Definitely like seeing that. So we've got Reader here again. He's going to be out here in the three technique once again. All right, so we'll take a look here. All right, so they're running away from him, which seems to be a good idea. Double team. He's fighting. All right, this time they are able to get a little bit of movement on him. But again, he's occupying two bodies this entire play. All right, this guy's trying to get up to the, to the mic. I don't know why they have another guy trying to get to the mic. He probably should be going back to number 41 here. But look, he's he's occupied by reader this whole time. Uh, that's a, you know, again, if you're taking away uh, two players, that's huge. You know, that, that's, that's a big impact you're making when you're taking away two players. Even if you're not the one making the play, that's awesome. All right, so we see another look here in the three technique, getting the double. All right, that's time they are able to get up. They're they're finally getting a little bit of something. All right, and again, this is this is this is an elite guard. This is <laughs> this is Quentin Nelson we're talking about here. All right, but he uh, he is able to get up uh, up there this time. All right, not really getting any penetration, but the tackle is able to take it over a little bit quicker than he has been uh, in previous reps. All right. So now we're over on the other side in a two I. All right. So solo block here, we're getting engaged. 
I really, so that's that's a read play as well. I mean, that's his own play as well. So he's holding his gap right there too, All right? Remember, like, like here's a here's a here's a rule of uh, the rule of defensive line play: don't find the ball, the ball will find you. You got to do your own job. You got to be responsible for what you're doing. So really. He's got to assume the running back has the ball right now. He's got to be playing this gap. You know, uh, his job isn't to decide if the quarterback has the ball and, and, and to run over there or anything. His job is his gap. His job is that A gap. And he does a good job holding it right here. You know, that guy's not getting any kind of movement on him. He's got his butt in that gap. All right. And he's in position where, you know, he's going to affect that runner. All right. If that guy has the ball, he sees this with Nelson flattening, flattening the other guy. All right. And he's probably going to try and take it up here. All right. He gets right about there. If that was just a little bit slower, this guy would see that and he'd try and bounce it way back here. So that's a pretty good look right in there. All right. So let's see if we got any more plays in this quarter. We do. We got a, looks like we got a two minute drive coming up in this quarter. All right, and it's a two-minute drive, so guess what? He's probably not going to be on the field because we're putting pass rushers on the field. Looks like we're going a little bit little bit leaner, a little bit faster for the obvious passing situation. Yep, that's, that's, good. that's the way they're going to go. That's the way they're going to end it. So, all right, uh, so that's uh, that's the second quarter. I mean, and we're seeing some good things. We're seeing some some good looks out of him here. Um, let's go ahead. Let's 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 keep going, and let's see what is going on. Let's see where the ball is in the in the third quarter. Which direction we're we going? We're going the other direction, aren't we? Yeah, we are. All right, so we're going to go to the fourth quarter. Again, get that butt shot. We'll watch about half this game. That is supposed to be a Colts play. There we go. All right, so he is going to be on the right-hand side here again. And it's a pretty heavy two, but I call it a, I, I, I call it a 2 I, right? Uh, just inside, inside that A gap. I mean, that's just the technique. I mean, it's just kind of the way he plays it sometimes. All right. Well, even though he's so tight, they're trying to reach him, and it, he, they can't. Right? He's able to hold that cap. So that's a oh, that's a good look right there, being able to hold that cap. All right. So again, we're talking about Quentin Nelson here. I'm right? pretty sure that's still him in the game. All right. We're talking about Quentin Nelson here. Good step. Getting in, you know, trying to get in, overtake that A gap, and it ain't happening. Right? Uh, Reader does a good job. Gets in the gap, holds the gap. All right, that's that's a good look right there from Reader. All right, let's see how he finishes. Does he finish? All right, not able to get off the block. Nelson holds on to him. All right, but good job getting, uh, you know, getting to the gap, holding the gap. All right, I'd like to see him disengage. All right, he's going to be on the right side too. A lot of him against Quentin Nelson. This is awesome. All right, uh, he's in the three technique here. Nelson engages. Again, holding this gap. All right, ball goes away. All right, we got like a bear front here. And that's him. Over Nelson in the three technique over here. And holding that cap. Hey, now he gets off the ball. Or excuse me, gets off of the block and gets involved in this tackle. Really just cleaning it up at this point. You know, the job's done, but good job. Good luck. Oop, too far. <laughs> All right. I don't think he's in here. Or is that him? That is him. Ooh, I like the way he's fighting, the, fighting there too. I'm, I'm glad I didn't skip this one. All right, let's take it nice and slow. So he's out wide here, which is why I didn't see him at first. All right, so 
he is out wide. He is actually in a five technique here outside the tackle. Let's take a look here. Slow it down. Tackle is going to engage with him. Now it looks like he's trying to get in the B gap, perhaps. Or maybe not. Now he's holding the C gap. Shows in the C gap. Forces the cut back. And a linebacker gets in there to make the play. He's diving in ankles and getting in there too. I do. I mean, I like the way he's fighting this tackle a lot here. All right, so hey, you're seeing a lot of strength out of this guy. You're seeing he's a he's an excellent run defender. Now, like I said, I hadn't really I knew about him. I hadn't really watched film on him. Um, very impressed with what I'm what I'm seeing so far in this game, uh, and it, against a really good component. Again, matched up against you know a, a guy who's been called a generational guard. Uh, you know, term you don't hear every day. And uh, I mean, he's he, he's you know showing good there, doing doing good stuff. All right, is that him? I don't think it's him. I think this guy's got red shoes and he didn't. I hope not because he's falling down. Oh, shit. I'm looking at the other side. Okay. <laughs> All right. Over here. I was looking at the other side because he's been he's been lined up on, on Nelson most of the time. All right. I've got a three technique right here on the left-hand side coming off the ball, trying to throw pass rush moves before he even really gets engaged. It's kind of interesting. All right, but I mean, you know, getting getting some penetration again, not really doing anything significant uh, against the pass here, uh, but he is getting blocked by two guys because there's nobody outside this tackle. Again, not why you're bringing this guy in. We saw he was out in the two minute drill. I would expect that in Cincinnati as well. Um, you know, most of the time you're going to be bumping somebody down. Uh, you know, maybe Dunlap, maybe Hubbard. And, uh, you know, bringing in, bringing in Lawson in those types of situations. Hopefully somebody new, too. Always always need lots of pass rushers. All right, it's a good, good look in there. Man, these numbers are tough. I keep thinking it's 96 or something. All right, so again, massive against Nelson. Solo block. He's got that B gap, engage, showing the gap, not getting off the block, but not giving up any ground either. A little bit too far. All right, he is in a four. Head up on the tackle here. All right, kind of. Shoots out a little bit. Looks like he's responsible for that C gap. You know, perhaps he's just kind of reading what the O line's doing and, and playing it like a like a zone. Jeez, I'll tell you what. Yeah, he's not much of a pass rusher. Like he can't. You know, he's not really getting around that edge or anything there. But look what happens once he decides to just bull rush this guy. That guy's going backwards. <laughs> you know? And again, I, you know, at the end of the day, he's affecting this pass. Uh, even just for that bull rush, right? I mean, Brissett has the ball forever, but he's he's affecting him just because Quentin Nelson is is in the pocket now, and that's gonna that's gonna be a problem. So, um, you know, not gonna contribute much as a pass rusher, but I'll tell you what, like as a change up, if you have if they're used to faster guys on the pass rush, you know, they're used to having having quicker guys in there. You know, using linebackers, you know, whatever, whatever it is, you, you're used to some quickness, and then you bring in this guy and he just bull rushes you. That's a nice little change of pace. All right, he's out here. That was a third down situation. We'll see. Last time we, last time they took him out, they took him out for a while. So, ah, we're back. First and ten, and we're back. And that is a two. That is head up on Quentin Nelson right there, the left guard. All right. So let's figure out what he's trying to do. I think he is playing the A-gap. So he's in a right position here. He gets doubled. He's kind of starting to split it before that guy leaves. Again, not really giving up any ground. Showing in the gap, staying in the gap. It's not a bad look. All right, I'd like to see him disengage from, from Nelson once that happens. But I mean, by that time, the guy's pretty much tackled. So hard to take much off him on that. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? Three technique, and they're pulling. 
All right, so the center comes back. As they pull around, it's a down scheme. Gap scheme, whatever you want to call it. I call it down scheme. All right, so he's coming off. You know, engages and holds the gap. Now, you know, when you're... Yeah, there we go. Okay. So he is being, you know, able to get off of that pretty quickly and get into pursuit. So that's a pretty good job right there. Takes on the center block, get rid of him, and go. All right, third and two. We should we should see him on here. That's a third and short situation. Oof. I hope that's not him. I think it is though. Yep, that's him. All right. <laughs> let's see what we get here third and two he is in a two head up on the guard again the guard in the center both coming out at him engages with nelson he gets stood up and that's how he's gonna get flattened here i'm sorry I don't know what I was just looking at. Maybe I just clicked on the wrong place. I can go. All right. Again, this is what happens when you do things live and you, and <laughs> you haven't seen anything you're taking notes or anything yet. All right. So it does get stood up a little bit here, though. I'm going to be clicking on the first down play. We'll find out in a second. All right. Gets a little stood up, and now he's got to get off that block. Oh, that's the first down play. Okay. All right. That's right. I skipped forward there. My bad. All right. So now we're going back. This was the third and two play where, I, where he got flattened and to the point where I, I thought it wasn't him. All right. So what do we got? We got a, a two head up. Solid on that guard. All right. Again, that's Nelson. He engages. The center's getting right on him, and what happens? Well, his feet are really wide. All right, so he takes that big step. He kind of opens himself up. I'm going to take this real slow. I'm going to try and figure out what he's doing here. I don't know. He puts his head down, though. I'm not sure if that's something Nelson does or if it's bad technique or a trip, but, I mean, he, he aids this. He, put, he gets himself down a little bit, too. His feet are a little bit wide. And then the center comes in and smacks him right at the right time when he's kind of off balance and not in great position. So he's not innocent on this. It's a good job by the, by the offense, but um, he helped him out there, too. All right, so now we're going to go to the second down play since we already watched the first down since I'm clicking on the wrong things here. All right, so this is a 2i inside of the guard. Really tight. All right, I haven't, I haven't watched this play. That's really tight. It makes me think they're going to be doing something back here. A lot of times they do that in the backside. They, they align really tight. Nope. Opposite. All right. Can't win them all. I am not Tony Roma today. Sorry. All right. It's a good look, though, right? He's in that 2Y. Keeps the gap, right? They're going to try and get him reached here with the center. He fights through it. Shows in the gap. Wow. All right. This, this is this is really good. Right. So again, your gaps move. You gotta stay in the gap as it moves. Right. So he's staying outside of that center. All right. Nelson doesn't make it easy on him. But Nelson releases and gets up to the linebacker depth there. I don't know if 41 is. I don't know if that's a linebacker or a safety, but he's been in the box a lot. So let's call him a linebacker. I really don't care what position you play. You know what I mean? Like where are you aligned? He's a linebacker right now. Um Anyway, so right now he's starting to get overtaken, fights through, all right, and this is a good job, you know, by number 59 here, setting the edge. Now he shows in that gap, so the the, uh, the running back's got to cut it way back, all right, but look, now this is where you see guys get kind of pushed and washed out. Jeez, I mean, that's pretty impressive for a guy that size. The way, look at the body control. Get himself under control, come back, now engage. 
uh, again with that center. I mean, that's that's pretty awesome. I, I love the adjustment there. I love, I love the things he's doing there. All right, obviously, it'd be better if he could you know, come off that block and be the guy that makes the tackle. But he's doing some really impressive things. They're athletic. We're gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play it slow and just kind of let you let you watch him and yeah, seeing some good things here. Problem with playing it slow is when they don't snap the ball right away. All right, there we go. Engage. All right, gets overtaken a little bit, keeps fighting, keeps fighting. Now all his momentum is going to the right. It cuts back, sinks his hip, gets his body under control, re-engages with the center. And very impressive physical things going on there. I like what I'm seeing there. All right, he's not going to be in this. This is what I was talking about before. I mean, they, they, they've got the, the backer there, too. That really... So they're trying to create the... Two-way goes for both these guys, like I was talking about. All right, and he's he's standing up. So, you know, not really a three technique, but you know what I mean. So setting up a two-way go for both those guys, and then the point of this guy being walked up here and standing up here is he's trying to occupy the center. Even though he's dropping off, he's trying to occupy the center. So the idea is you're creating one-on-one -on -one matchups for everybody, even though you're only sending four. All right, but the center, the center ain't having it. He just, he just passed us right away. I wonder what would have happened if this guy would have just blitzed up the A gap. But uh, anyway, uh, that was a, that was a third and seven play. And that's going to be the end of the game. That's going to be the last uh, defensive rep we see there. So um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this uh, raw uncut look of me watching film of DJ reader for the first time. But uh, tell you what I'm film. I'm feeling even better about this pickup. Uh, you know, a good aggressive move for the Bengals, and he definitely showed some awesome things uh, in uh, in this game. Again, you know, matched up against one of the top opponents in the league. You know, and, and, uh, one of the best guards in the league. Somebody's been called again. Um, you know, a generational generational guard, uh, uh, top ten pick. Uh, in Quentin Nelson, we see some really good things here. Uh, not seeing a ton of the pass rush, but again, look, he's he's out in these situations. He's not on the field in those situations. Uh, that's not what you brought the guy in for. Uh, and it is important that they keep bringing in those guys, keep finding uh, pass rush help uh, for this team. Uh, you see him move around a little bit. You see him uh, not so much in a, in a zero, but in a, in a one, in a, in a two, I, a two out into a three eye and we actually saw him out wide in a five uh in one of those clips you, you see him moving around a little bit we know luana rumo likes his his versatile players uh so yeah i'm feeling i'm feeling good about this uh and a big time pickup uh exciting uh exciting to see him out there uh definitely think that is a solid pickup for uh for the Bengals. so uh yeah keep keep uh, checking us out keep coming back um and i'll 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 keep uh, producing stuff like this, taking looks uh, at free agents that are coming in, taking looks at uh, returning players, taking looks at, um, you know, uh, draft prospects as we have been uh, with really throughout the, the defensive backfield, linebackers, uh, cornerbacks, uh, you know, inside and outside linebackers, cornerbacks, and um, also safeties. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll keep coming with that stuff. Uh, so keep tuning back in here. Thanks a lot for watching.